Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the definition of the derivative. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals 3x squared plus 3x plus 3, and we can use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative. Well, our definition is given right there, so we need to apply that here. Our f prime of x, or y prime, is the limit as h approaches 0, don't forget it, of our function, but we have to put x plus h in instead of x. So we have 3 x plus h here squared plus 3 x plus h here plus 3, a lot of 3's. Now we subtract our original function, 3 x squared plus 3 x plus 3. And all of that is good over the lonely h. Well, the whole point here is we're trying to simplify. And you get, you'll practice and you get more examples with it and how to get better at it over time. But we still have to write the limit here as h part to 0 because we haven't taken the limit. Now, this numerator, the 3 stays here. But this x plus h all squared is an x squared plus a 2xh plus an h squared. Now we have, let's distribute the 3 across here, plus a 3x plus a 3h. Now we have a plus 3. Now I distribute this minus sign across here, minus 3x squared, minus 3x, minus 3. Again, all over the lonely h. Almost there. We still have to distribute this 3 across right here. This is a, the last big step, and everything kind of cancels out. Again, 3 gets distributed. 3x squared plus a 6xh plus a 3h squared plus a 3x plus a 3h plus a 3 minus a 3x squared minus 3x minus 3. So many 3s here. Luckily, there's that 6. I got an over h. Okay. Now we got to pay attention here and see if we get it right. We're going to try to cross off everything that we can. There I see a 3x squared here and a minus 3x squared, cancel it out. 3x and a minus 3x right there, cancels. 3 minus 3 cancels. That's almost everything. Notice, there's one h here, two h's, and one h in each one of the terms that's left over, h in the denominator. Let's cancel that out. h down here gets rid of this one h, gets rid of this squared, gets rid of that h right there. So what are we left with here? We have the limit, don't forget it, as h approaches 0, of a 6x plus a 3h plus that lonely 3. Now, if that step is a little too much right now, you need to do one more step to like rewrite it, go for it. But as you get better, you get some practice here. Okay. So now we can take the limit. The limit as h approaches 0 for our function here, we just can plug it now directly in for h. 6x plus 3 times 0 plus 3. 3 times 0 is just a 0. So we have 6x plus 3. And that is our dy dx. That is our f prime of x, our y prime. It is our derivative. And so our final answer here is 6x plus 3. I hope this video is helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.